Cyanogen Mod just made a major leap to becoming more stable on your device. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and this is a look at Cyanogen Mod 10.1M. Before we take a look at the device itself, which happens to be a Nexus 10 running the latest M version of the software, let's talk about what exactly that means. Cyanogen Mod comes out with what they call nightlies, which are, well, they're available as you'd expect, almost nightly. They're very experimental, they have all of the commits from the previous day, and they're usually somewhat broken. However, compared to previous Cyanogen Mod versions like 6 and 7, Cyanogen Mod 10 point something ROMs have always been very, very stable, at least in my experience. On the race to a stable version of the ROM, the team usually releases a couple release candidates. These release candidates are relatively feature complete, they're relatively stable, they may still have some known bugs, but they're ready for prime time and ready for mainstream use. They usually go through one, two, maybe even three of these before they finally release a stable version of the ROM. Recently, Cyanogen Mod started introducing an M version of their ROM, or a monthly. A monthly is kind of like a nightly released every month, except it's more feature complete and it's more milestone based than just nightlies are. It should also be a bit more stable. That having been said, it's also clearly labeled as experimental and kind of use at your own risk, like the nightlies are. What's inside the latest monthly build of Cyanogen Mod 10.1? Let's take a look at that right now. This is Cyanogen Mod 10.1 monthly running on my Nexus 10. Let's go ahead and take a look over here in settings at about, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is running Android 4.2.1, and this is right down here, the 10.1 2013 January 21st experimental M1 build. That's how you can tell if it's a monthly versus a nightly. A monthly is going to have the M1. Next month, presumably, we'd have an M2 and so on until we finally get some release candidates and then a stable build. So let's take a look at what's included. First of all, while we're in about tablet, Cyanogen Mod statistics. This is not uncommon. You've probably seen this before. It's how the Cyanogen Mod team gathers and collects information about errors and whatnot so that they can go through and correct things without you having to submit a bug report. When there is a bug found and fixed, they will roll that out into a new version, and that you can apply over here in Cyanogen Mod Updates. This is relatively new to 10.1. You don't need ROM Manager anymore to download and install custom ROMs. This will even update you when there's a new version available, and you can select what kind of update type you want, whether that's all versions stable only, all versions including nightly, or just new versions. So very quick, very easy. It uses Clockwork Mod Recovery and some other compatible ROMs, uh, recovery ROMs rather, to apply these different versions that you download and install, and it's really quick and easy. You can tell which version you're running by the uh, little SID guy over here waving at you. If you have one that uh, you've downloaded, you'll have a little downloaded icon, and if there's one yet for you, you'll have a download icon over on the side. Since these are monthlies, we just have the one. Let's dig into some more of the settings and see what we have. We do have the performance tab, which you have to go through and do your multi-tap. We showed you how to do that in a previous video to show the developer options. Once that's done, you'll have this performance option, a little disclaimer, and then we can come in here and look at our processor stuff. You can change your governor to one of these three it defaults to interactive. We talked about governors in a previous episode, but you notice down here, we cannot change our minimum and maximum speed, so we can't go in and overclock, at least not yet. So that's one thing that isn't yet wired up in this particular version of the build. We also have memory management to allow purging of assets. I turned that on to speed things up a little bit. 16-bit transparency, if you want to decrease your colors so you can get more performance. With the Nexus 10, I haven't needed that. And over here we have surface improvement, which I've gone ahead and turned up to fix color banding and blur effect versus the default, which is just to fix color banding. Looks a little bit nicer in my personal opinion. Moving up a little bit, we have profiles that you can set. These are profiles, for lack of a better word, they're groups of settings that you can apply to different areas. Home, night, silent, work, car, 
uh, the game, church, whatever the case may be, you can come in and change the settings to turn on and off mobile data, turn on and off Wi-Fi, turn your volume up, down, or off entirely. Very nice, and you can write those to an NFC tag, so you can just tap your device to the NFC tag to toggle between those. Very quick, very easy. You can also then come back into settings and use profiles in there, or use your power button to go through and switch your profile to something else. Fast, easy, I like it. Let's see what else we've got in here. Of course, we've got themes. I don't have any extras installed on here. It comes with just a couple. If we wanted to, we can change from default over here to this nice green one. We'll apply that. And yes, I want to apply anyway. Just saying that there are some assets that aren't available for my particular screen resolution. I've never had a problem with that message coming up ever. It always just works. You can see now that my icons on the top, my coloring is now green. And I have these super cool, I don't know, Skittles colors over here for my icon. So it just makes things a little bit more fresher, a little bit more bright and vibrant. And of course, you can download these themes from the Android Play Store. Download them, install them. Some are free, some cost money. Uh, play around, see what you like. Let's go back over here into settings again. And once we are in settings, we just looked at themes. Let's look at system. In system, we can change the status bar. And I don't have time in this video to go into each one of these, but I want to highlight what you can do. You can change stuff in the status bar. You can change stuff in your quick settings panel. That's that guy right over there. You can change your notifications drawer, your power menu, even your clock widget. So you can change all kinds of cool stuff in there. Notification bar and uh, the notification light if you want that on, off, or customized to some specific value. Really cool there. You can customize your lock screen, of course. And then this is if you are using the Trebuchet Launcher, which comes stock in all CyanogenMod Mod builds, uh, or official CyanogenMod Mod builds. Uh, you can come in and change all of this stuff. That's an entirely different video. I love Trebuchet, it's super fast. Not terribly customizable as far as what you can do. You've got some cool rotation stuff and transitions that you can do. You can see how I've got that one set to kind of rotate and tumble in and out so really fun i like that and, and you know trebuchet just does everything that i need it to and it's wonderful if you want a third party launcher go ahead and throw a nova launcher on there or one of the others that we've shown you in our launcher wars series they're great but that's a quick look at what we've got in cyanogen mod 10.1 m the m stands for monthly if you have questions or comments head over to pocketnow.com and you can ask us those in the comments over there if you liked what you saw here make sure you give the video a thumbs up or tell your friends about it on facebook or twitter for pocket now showing off cyanogen mod 10.1 i'm joe levi thanks for watching